differently abled, differently. The National Council for Persons with Disabilities launched a career portal that will enable placement of persons with disabilities to job opportunities. Take a look. Persons with disabilities have been left out when it comes to employment. Sensitization is being done and different laws and policies adapted to ensure that they are included as part of the workforce. In the 2018-2019 Public Service Commission annual report, only 17 persons with disability were appointed in the 26 state department constituting a, a party partly 1.1 percent of the total appointment of 1,501. In terms of promotion, of promotion out of 5,878 officers promoted in the civil service, 28, that is 0.5 percent, were persons with disabilities. You can just see the statistic. This is the reason why the National Council for Persons with Disabilities, eye to eye and other organizations came up with the idea to have a career portal. Today we are here to launch a portal, the portal on employment, you know, creating a portal that employers can access and employees with disabilities can also put their details there so that you know, they can access employment and other opportunities. And we are working with other partners, Leonard Cheshire, CBM and uh, critical other Fuzu for supporting us on technical issues and, uh, and, and, and also how we can disseminate you know, uh, technology and things like that. Yeah, my name is Masuki Daniel. I'm the Senior Programs Manager at Leonard Cheshire, Kenya. And uh, today we're here for the launch of the National Council for Persons with Disability Employment Portal. And this is a process that has culminated in a platform that, has, that is going to play a very crucial role. Uh, it's been quite a journey with a number of organizations. And for us as Leonard Cheshire, this is a serious, serious milestone, especially because we focus on the needs of persons with disabilities. Today, as we look at the employment portal, this is one of the three key pillars that Leonard Cheshire works on. We are very keen on inclusive education, we are keen on economic inclusion and this is a pillar in that particular theme and then we also look at livelihoods, the way people live, the way people work, the way people obtain their daily livelihoods and that is very, very critical. Fuzu CEO says that currently the portal is specific for persons with disabilities. Uh, today we are um, announcing and releasing uh, the NCPWD Career Portal, uh, which is a platform aimed uh, for uh, persons with disability uh, living in Kenya, as well as then for Kenyan employers to hire uh, persons with disabilities. So we're trying to bring the two, uh, the two parties together to provide guidance uh, to persons with disability about what kind of opportunities there are in the job market, uh, what skills to learn, uh, ways to demand in the job markets, uh, catalyze discussions, uh, really try to inspire them uh, and then we're also trying then to change the mindset of the employers to, to understand that there is a lot of potential with persons with disability. So we've had uh, several people, uh, persons with disability to participate uh, in, the, in the testing and the design uh, and feedback uh, of the platform and, and we've gotten excellent feedback. Like today uh, on the stage we heard uh, two uh, blind uh, persons, uh, persons to share their insights uh, about using the platform and it was really heartwarming to hear that they found it very easy to navigate. The portal is user friendly and allows persons with disabilities to navigate with much ease. Uh, the portal itself has been created uh, with a mind of being accessible because this is one, uh, one thing that is going to break the barriers that some uh, potential employees find when they try to seek or to search for jobs. Um, uh, it was designed by Fuzu and uh, with the help of the I2I team bringing the aspect of uh, accessibility that is uh, being perceivable, operable, understandable and robust in uh, the four principles of uh, web accessibility guided by the web content accessibility guidance. Daniel encourages employers not to shy off from employing persons with disabilities as it's not an expensive venture as perceived. Employers need not only to be afraid 
uh, uh, need not be afraid of what has been happening, but they need to embrace, first of all, that the competencies they are seeking are available amongst the people with disabilities. Two, we need to be very pragmatic and proactive rather than reactive by going out and seeking out where they are, and this is through the database. Then we, skip, we match the skills you know, to the needs of the employers and be able to get the right people. Then the other aspect that employers have been afraid of is what we would call the extra cost of employing persons with disabilities. And out of that uh, proactive move, then employers would invest limited resources, I would say, to be able to accommodate and to capture the needs of the people with disabilities. The portal will act as a one-stop shop for both employers and persons with disabilities looking for employment. This portal is like one shop where employers can now visit to get the details of uh, you know persons with disability, their nature of disability, their qualifications, you know how they can be employed, you know, and, and things like that. And for employees also with disability, because it has been created in a way that now all forms of disability can now access whether they're blind, whether they're deaf, so that they can create their account there, you know, they can put their details there. And then as a council, of course, as holding that portal, we will also, you know, uh, 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 get the feedback mechanism on how we can improve, create the data, you know, and how that data can be available. Because we're differently abled, differently.